Hello, everyone. All right. Well, thank you for attending uh, my first ever live webinar training that I've been talking about for the past, I don't know what, three weeks. <laughs> I've been working on this for three months, just the, the format of this, but in actual fact, it's been um, years in the makes, um, just a, a seed that was planted um, a couple of years ago. But I'm just kind of rushing into the introduction here. Let me introduce myself first. So I'm, my name is Heba, and I'm a wellness advocate for essential oils, but I'm a, also an emotions mentor. So I'm, t I'm naming myself an emotions mentor today because I have some really interesting um, topic to bring forth to you. I don't know if you've been re... Oops, I'm going to mute everyone one second. All right, so I think all participants are muted. If anyone is um, not muted, um, we're just going to keep it all muted so that the webinar can be nice and crisp. All right, so welcome everyone who's joining in. I was just uh, briefly introducing myself. I'm Heba El Hakim and I'm a wellness advocate for essential oils. I'm a business mentor. I'm also an emotions mentor. Um, I'll explain a little bit about that in a, in a while, but today what we're going to talk about is um, exploring life traps that prevent us from living in fullness. And if you've been reading some of the emails, I've just sent you tip one um, about the series of emails that I'm about to send you regarding your specific, um, you know, the, the, the challenge that you, you shared with me. So some of you have shared with me some of your um, challenges and um, I'm going to be sharing with you these tips that I have learned over the years that can pro hopefully help you or give you a different um, outlook on what this whole life trap phenomenon is all about. So just a little context, basically, um, oftentimes we struggle with emotions like inadequacy or shame. I mean, how many of us have suffered from that or guilt or loneliness? Um, but we don't focus enough on the joy and the contentment and the security. So what happens is that when our basic needs haven't been met in childhood, it develops into a life trap. So let me go. Um, hopefully you can see my slides. Oops, what is going on? Okay, my mouse is kind of playing on me. All right, let me just go down here. So. Okay, before we start, I just wanna you know, ask you if you can turn off everything that is operating in the background, including your emails, Facebook, Skype, um, anything, any other program. I just wanna you know, let us have this moment, have this moment for yourself. Uh, put your phone on silent, mine is on silent, that's, I should say, I should do what I say. Uh, close your doors, give yourself this time to discover yourself and tune into you. Um, this is your me time, okay? So I want you to, it's probably new, a little bit new what I'm gonna be discussing, so I want you to kind of be there so we can all be to there together. Now, if you stay until the end um, of this webinar, there's going to be a little bonus that I'm gonna be sharing with you. Um, so this is a stay until the end webinar, uh, uh, stay until the end of the webinar bonus. And it's going to be a link to um, the life, to take your own life traps test. Now in the ebook that you may have downloaded, from me there was a questionnaire but it may have been like clunky to write it out or you may not have understood how to do it this one's kind of like already automated and it's I think it's from a Finnish um, website or something but I found it online this morning and I really liked it and you know I, I took the, the the quiz and it gave me my life traps which I was you know I'm still working on now I would like you to tell me, and this will require a little bit of chat. If I don't see anyone typing in the chat, I'm just gonna move on, okay? But if you're able to type into some chat, um, I would like you to tell me, what is your single biggest challenge right now when it comes to overcoming your big emotions? And I've asked you this question before, so you've answered it. That's fine, Hadia, if you can only stay till 11, I'll be probably done by then, um, but um, we'll see. So I, I wanted to ask you, I've already asked you this question before, what is your single biggest challenge right now when it comes to overcoming your big emotions? But I'd like to get a feel from you on what is currently happening right now. What is the challenge when it comes to overcoming? Are, is it, um, you know, are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you feeling inadequate? Are you feeling not good enough? Um, how many of you feel that I, 
almost every day. Um, do you feel that it's a, too much on your plate? That's the overwhelm. Are you feeling a bit, um, there's a little bit of shame or mum guilt? Like, oh, I have a lot of mum guilt every single day. And it's, you know, feeling a little bit distraught all the time about keeping my family time and doing my work as well. A lot of guilt with that. Sometimes I feel lonely as well. Um, it's it's kind of lonely to be a business owner or an entrepreneur. You know, it's not a glamorous business at all. It's not glamorous at all. Uh, we're sitting behind our computers and we're, you know, and there's a lot of things that just get triggered oftentimes. So um, I need to manage time better. So you're feel there's a lot of overwhelm and the overwhelm comes with kind of feeling stuck, kind of feeling a little fearful, you're fearful to take action. So there's a lot of um, things of going on behind there. Um, what I'd like to do right now is, uh, thanks for participating in that. I wanted to just share a little bit about how, if you're on this webinar, if, if you, you're in the right place, if you're any of these things, okay? So for example, and I'm gonna go like way across the board here from relationships to money to business to everything, okay? So you're in the right place if you're drawn to the same types of people over and over, whether it's a partner or a friend or, you know, you're often compromising your own needs to the point where they're never met. Um, you're in the right place if you find yourself, you know, kind of overreacting a lot to the same kind of situations, you know, always being triggered by the same kind of things. You're in the right place if you're feeling stuck seemingly forever in some area of your life and you can't seem to change. Okay, I call that a little bit of the stuckness um, or just feeling like there's not no room for change. There's, um, there's kind of like a, 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 an end of the road there for you. You also are in the right place if you tend to feel bouts of low self-confidence. And I, I feel that often too. I mean, there's no day that passes where um, I don't feel some sort of um, self-doubt about myself. Some, and there are good days, but you know, there are, we have to acknowledge that there are some days where you do feel challenged as well. And sometimes what we tend to do is we tend to throw that under the bus or the rug, or we just tend to forget about it and try to stay happy, happy, happy in front of others but then we're not acknowledging what's going on, okay? So we're doing that right now. <laughs> uh, you're in the right place if your relationships tend to be full of conflicts, large or small. So if you tend to kind of um, run into the same arguments with people all the time, whether it's you know, your husband, your wife, or um, your sister, your mother, your son, your daughter, like you're just kind of running into the same arguments, it's not changing. Um, or you find yourself developing addictions, whatever it is, um, substances or food, uh, food addiction or whatever it is. I mean, um, maybe, you know, binging on Netflix can be also touted as an addiction. We don't, there's all kinds of things that we do to cope um, with, with, with staying, like not, not having to deal with our feelings. Okay. I could be doing something, I could be working too much and that's an escape of actually feeling my emotion. Okay, so that's kind of like mine. So do any of these, um, you know, describe you? I'd just like to know if you can just say yes or no, or, um, you know, just, just if any of these described you, I'd love to know, please. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, so we tend to feel all of this. Now, the reality is, I just wanna make sure I'm recording. <laughs> yes, thank God. Um, the reality is um, that, all of these feelings come from something, okay? And I wanna read you a description of, um, of this. So, hold on, I'm just gonna read it to you because it's a good. So, life traps, and there are 11 of them. They, when our basic needs are not met in childhood, it develops into a life trap. And the, when I say childhood, I'm actually talking about from zero to six years old, okay? And that develops, so whatever's happened in those years, We've gone, through, we've gone through a journey in those years and things have happened, um, good or bad, and they've ingrained in us a life trap. And there are 11 life traps. They've been determined and studied by psychotherapists and actually it was um, by Dr. Jeffrey E. Young. If you wanna read his book, it's called um, Reinventing Your Life. It's a really good book. But he's the one that discovered that there are 11 real life traps. Like they're real, you know, the, you, you can, 
you can identify them in anyone and anyone can identify themselves in them. So the reality is that everybody has life traps and there are no perfect parents. Okay. So if we're talking about that, it's been done to us in childhood. Well, that means that the more, most significant people probably are whoever was taking care of us are our parents and there are no perfect parents, right? Like they knew what they knew at the time they knew it. And now we know differently or so we're doing di things differently, but we're also knowing what we know at the time we know it now. And, you know, so it's kind of like this, this cycle. It's like the cycle of life and can't blame our parents for it. They just, they're doing their best. So there are no perfect parents, but, um, you know, like eliminate that all or nothing. Cause I've struggled with that. I was like, well, if it was my parents fault, then I should blame them for them doing, giving me those life traps. But I, I, I had to kind of eliminate that all or nothing kind of, because you can love your parents and yet they still have their faults, right? Like it's okay. Anyway, so let's discover what those life, those life traps are. But first I want to tell you what the basic needs of a child are. So let's just think about a child for a second. I have a six year old, so <laughs> she's almost at the end of that, you know, crucial stage. I probably given her all the life traps she has, but um, let's just think of a basic needs of a child. So when you think of a child, oops, I'm on the wrong mouse. When you think of a child, what they need most is security and safety. They need connection to others. Okay, these are the, the basic things that a child needs to thrive. Um, independent functioning, so they need a little bit of autonomy. They need to feel confident about themselves, um, self-esteem, like they can do things. They need uh, to express themselves, so self-expression. And they need a little bit of limit setting too, like realistic limits, like you can do this, you can't do that, don't go near this, that's dangerous. So these are these are actually the six basic needs of a child. And when they're not there or when they're not met adequately, there are issues, there are life traps that happen. So let's see which life traps are associated with each of these basic needs. So for security and safety, abandonment, um, if it's not there, there's going to be a life trap of abandonment and abandonment is, um, you know, it's about the perceived, like not the, the, the perceived unavailability of someone or, you know, someone left at an early age, a mother or father left the child at an early age, for example, it happens. Um, it involves, you know, the sense that, you know, someone significant is not going to be able to be there to support. So abandonment is a huge uh, life trap. Okay. And um, I know people that have it and other people that don't. Mistrust and abuse. Now, mistrust and abuse, that's also in the security and safety it makes sense because um, that's going to be about, you know, expecting that others will hurt or abuse or humil humiliate. Um, you might be feeling that you're always cheated compared to others. There might have been something that happened there in early eight, in the early stages of, you know, someone not, not having treated you properly or cheated you or hurt and humili humiliated your abuse, abuse. So there's a lot of you know, in these life traps, there's a lot of, there could be really traumatic events that cause this, or there could be very simple events that cause this, like, you know, um, you were cheated out of, I don't know, a, a toy or something, you know, and, and because our minds are so young at that age, it is a big deal. So connection to others is the next one. So emotional deprivation, and I have that one. <laughs> I'm, you know, we kind of got to do a little bit of admitting here. So um, I'm going to talk about how self-awareness is a really important part of changing your life trap. So connection to others is uh, one of the um, basic needs, right? So what happens when that's not there? Well, emotional deprivation, that's a very common life trap, but it's actually the most difficult one to discern. And I'll tell you a little bit about how I've come to like feel that I've I had it, but I, I had no idea that like it was not at all apparent. It's not apparent at all. So it's hardest to detect because this life trap begins so early before we even know how to talk. And it's hard to realize when we're caught up in it because it's about emotional deprivation. Someone can be giving you all that you want, but they're not actually giving you the gift of the actual love or affection that you're actually needing, maybe physical touch or uh, words of, of love and things like that. So um, we believe, um, you know, this is a false belief stemming that, you know, your, your love needs will never be met. Okay. So it's a false belief about that because obviously you're, you're loved today and uh, there are people who love you, but um, at the early stage, it may not have been expressed that properly. 
Social inclusion is an interesting one. This one is, it has you feeling like you're feeling isolated from the rest of the world, like you're different from other people, or you're not part of any group or community. So that would be um, one that is related to connecting with others. Um, independent functioning, so a child needs to feel independent. So if he doesn't have that, then he's gonna to be too dependent. So it's the belief that you can, you're unable to handle everyday responsibilities in a competent way. So you know, like taking care of yourself or dressing yourself or solving daily problems or, you know, um, I don't know, tackling a, a job or something or making good decisions. So that's um, dependence. So you, you're going to get some dependence life traps. When you're dependent on someone in at a, an adult age, then you probably know that you have that. Vulnerability is an interesting one. So vulnerability can be three things. It could be um, you're afraid of losing control. So just anything that you feel vulnerable to, you feel it, like you may, it may it may cause some 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 danger. So vulnerability to feeling um, losing control, vulnerability to poverty. So anyone who said that they had money issues or all of those, you know, um, that's probably a good. It's a vulnerability one. And I think I addressed that in the first tip of my email series is that there's, there's this vulnerability about losing money or not being able to pay bills or, um, you know, just feeling like something's going to be out of control or something, or it's not going to be. So we're going to talk about vulnerability um, in the course and stuff, so which I'll talk about later. So self-esteem is a, another basic need of a child. So self-esteem, if that's not there, well then, what's gonna happen? You're gonna feel like you're never good enough. Okay, hello, <laughs> never good enough. So self-esteem issues are really rampant. They're, very, they're available a lot in a lot of places. And I don't know what that stems from, but it may, like if you look historically, it may have come from, I don't know, like, um, um, like if you look at like the historical age at that time, what was going on at that time. But in any, in any case, defectiveness and failure are the life traps that come from this. And defectiveness means I'm just, something's wrong with me. I'm not good enough. And failure means I'm never, I think it's like, I'm never going to be good at this. Or um, it's, it's, it's more like, uh, sorry, sometimes I, these are big topics, right? So sometimes, oh yeah, I feel like such a failure. So just feeling like a failure. So, um, defectiveness means you're unwanted, unlovable. Um, it may, it may be that you're really hypersensitive to criticism, rejection to blame and all that. Um, but I just want to go through them quickly cause I wanted to go through uh, the rest, but basically self-expression subjugation, unrelenting standards. I like to talk about unrelenting standards for a second. Unrelenting standards, because I have that one, is about being really hard on yourself. So feeling like you must work hard to meet the requirements um, or to be, you know, to, 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 to have this, you know, to, to be, to perform well, basically, to avoid criticism. So this is one that I, I, I particularly um, deal with a lot, is I'm just, you're just hard on yourself and you feel like you will constantly need to, you know, prove yourself and work hard to avoid criticism. Okay. So I don't deal with, I, I, I like constructive criticism, but criticism that feels like it's attacking, I usually, you know, go off the wall for that. But anyways, so, um, and then the last one, the limit setting one, which is if a child doesn't have you know, limits, then what are they going to do feel? They're going to feel entitled, like they can have the world. And it's like almost borderline narcissism, but it can easily turn into that. So a lot of little ones, uh, or sorry, if you feel someone is a little bit entitled, like, oh, I should have this, or you should have given me this, or I think I should get this, like, you know, all of that, or I, I'm never wrong. Well, um, you know, just feeling a little bit superior. Well, there might have been issues with setting limits at young age. And setting limits is as much as no food before, you know, uh, sorry, no, no food in the bedroom, for example, like just setting limits, like boundaries in, or not, um, not talking back to someone or not point, you know, just all these things that we um, set on our little ones from young age to be polite, to be all of that stuff. So, um, all right. So let me just, I've, I've, I've spoken about this before, but basically the reason why I've decided to, um, you know, run this is because I, 
I, I've lived with, so I, I moved to, from Canada to Australia in 2010, and I became a new mum rather quickly, um, and, and I was, you know, newly married and everything. So there was like a lot of life changes that happened to me all at one time. So it just dawned on me um, as I was like, you know, dealing with all these emotions that I was going through, motherhood and new life and all that stuff, just adjustments to life. There was a lot of emotions coming out of me and being triggered. And so what I ended up doing is, um, and there was just like a lot, a lot at the same time. So I ended up presenting myself to a psychotherapist and I said, I'd like to talk about stuff, you know, because I never had done that before. It was never something I had ever thought to do or, you know, I just never, ever thought to, to talk to someone about it. But this time I went out and called for some help because I clearly needed it. Um, so what I did for about two years and a half was go weekly on these weekly sessions just to do talk therapy. It was just literally just talking. And in those sessions, I discovered these things that happened. And, and it was um, not, not traumatic experiences, but just all these little things that kind of like, oh, okay, maybe I have that or not have that. I wasn't diagnosing myself, but I was just kind of discovering a lot of how, what was triggering me. So why was my daughter triggering me or my husband triggering me? Well, it was because of something and it was because of this belief that I had inside. So um, I said before that I had, um, I'm an essential oils educator. I, I, I discovered essential oils in 2013. And they were a godsend for me. Um, I use them a lot for emotion. So what happened was in my journey with essential oils and psychotherapy and all that stuff, I just basically had a wake up call. I'm like, I'm using these oils to help me physically, but then I discovered their emotional benefits. And I'm also seeing a psychotherapist and I'm learning all these things about myself. So I've done a lot of work that kind of uncovered what was holding me back, okay? And I was really holding myself back. I wasn't showing up in, you know, like this online. I had dreams of doing that years ago and it just never really materialized because I was always like, no, I'd rather just, you know, stay hidden or whatever. Um, and I had a lot of these big emotions and, and you might be feeling them too, like inadequacy, shame. Some people said over before, overwhelm. Overwhelm usually has to do with, fear and you know like fear of something so when you're overwhelmed is because there's too much you can you can't handle and um you just need a clear mind and maybe you're not taking action um, and that usually causes overwhelm so that's what happened um i just got this wake-up call within those years of, of of dealing with emotional wellness and physical wellness and essential oils and um, psychotherapy. It just kind of was a wake up call for me. I just discovered a lot of these emotional life traps that we deal with. So I became obsessed with emotions and I literally did, well, I, I wasn't that obsessed, but I, I was literally just using all of my you know, resources to help me emotionally. So um, praying or essential oils. Um, and then I started to teach them online. So I did a couple of essential oils classes. That was in, you see there, it says 2015. And then I created an emotions library on my website and launched that in 2016. So that was a really fun uh, project for me, but it was like a passion project where you can go and check search for an essential oil by typing in the emotion that you feel. I taught them to my daughter. I taught her to use that um, things emotionally and also to handle. I also took, um, I didn't write it here, but basically I took a parenting self-esteem coach and it was more about, it was more for, to help my daughter grow as a self-confident child, but I realized that I really needed it myself first to be a self-confident parent so that I can then impart those onto my daughter. So I learned how to do tapping and I learned um, all the techniques that I can use for myself, but then obviously use them with my daughter as well. So teaching her those techniques. So um, I already spoke about this. My most prominent life traps were emotional deprivation, unrelenting standards, defectiveness, and vulnerability. So um, you know, I'll give you a little, if you stay until the end, I said I will give you a, a link to do a test. And there was also one in my ebook. So, but I wanted to talk to you about how did I change them? So you might wonder, well, okay, these life traps, how do we actually change them? Well, there's different ways. You can, um, you can write a letter to your parents. You can imagine you're with your parents and talk to them. I know it sounds weird, but 
it does help. You know, you can journal as if you're talking to them. Like you don't actually have to address it to them, you know, like the anger and all that stuff. You can if you want to. And if it helps, you can say, hey, look, I've been doing this and I really need to address this with you. Are you willing to listen to me? And it can turn into a shouting match or not. But the importance is that you, you, you relieve yourself of all blame of them. So of, of whoever, whoever you feel like you want to blame for that life trap. So I just wrote a letter because I knew that I wouldn't be able to really like address it to them directly. So um, I just wrote them a letter, expressed my, the deprivation I felt. I felt like they were just giving me, you know, the, uh, the, the private school and the, 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 the nice stuff, you know, to, that overprotectiveness, of course, to, to show that they loved me. But where was the I love you's every day and the hugs and all that stuff? I mean, you know, at some point, I just don't remember that. So anyways, so developed also a solid relationship with my therapist that I told you about. So if you have someone you can talk to or develop a solid relationship, someone you can rely on, that would be a good way to um, change when a, a life trap, whichever one. Um, expressing love to my daughter every single day. So just working on the opposite of what you feel you didn't have. Um, choosing a good quality. I didn't choose him. I actually just met him by chance. But he, you know, he's a great partner who saw through my deprivation and he didn't take advantage of me. He just, you know, like a good match and um, very supportive and all that stuff. So I'm just saying that, you know, you can find a good friend that you can, um, you know, that you feel you can trust and, and develop these relationships over time. These things take time. A life trap takes time to change. I'm still changing my life traps. I still have big emotions. I still, but I feel like I'm much more calmer than before. Staying focused on positive benefits and, um, you know, moving freely in the world. So I had a vulnerability, which I was always like worried that I would be, you know, not enough money or, um, you know, but I have a whole different mindset about money. Um, yeah, mindset about money now. It's a whole different ball game. Like I don't look at money that way anymore. I look at it as a thing that comes and goes. It's actually time that I'm worried about losing because you can't get time back. But money is a, just a current, it's, a, it's an energy that comes and goes, right? All right, so tell me, on a scale of one to 10, I would love to tune into you a little bit and know more about you. How in touch are you with your emotions? Like one being you do not think of them, you escape from them, don't like to express them, um, would rather just like hide under a rock if someone tells you how you are, <laughs> to 10 being, you know, like very, very um, open about your emotions and sit with them and you feel them. Um, just type in the chat where you are at. I'd love to know while I sip my water. <laughs> Seven. Awesome. That's a, that's really good. Um, you know, you can be anywhere on the range of emotions and your emotional resilience and emotional uh, five. That's awesome. Okay. So you're kind of like in between, not there, not there. Um, but the emotional resilience and emotional intelligence, or I don't want to call it intelligence. I actually want to call it emotional resilience is something we should learn, um, to be because, you know, overreacting according to our emotions can often be quite damaging sometimes or destructive. I'm reading a book by Daniel Goldman, Goldman. He's like the, I don't, um, he's, he's the expert on emotional intelligence, if you may, or e the EQ quotient, the emotional quotient, because when you handle that, that part of you, you're just able to navigate through life better. And this is what I'm offering right now. I just want to walk through this with a group of people that I can mentor and coach, um, which I'll talk to you in a second. Um, which let's talk about it now. <laughs> Why you came to this webinar. I want to remind you what made you interested in taking my quiz, which was a quiz about um, when it comes to your emotions, what is your, when it comes to overcoming your big emotions, what is your single biggest challenge or frustration right now? And thanks for those that answered on the scale. I just, um, I know sometimes it's tough to talk about emotions, but um, you know, I think in this type of setting, we kind of like to ease into being comfortable to talking about this stuff because it isn't always easy. And I remember my days in psychotherapy where I was really resistant to it. And I was like, I don't want to come and talk. I just don't want to. So I was 
on that one, <laughs> that scale on that scale, I was like a one for a long, long time until I was comfortable to talking about my, my emotions and how I feel and all that stuff. So why you came to this webinar, if you filled out my quiz, like you discovered a couple of challenges that I, it was a theme that I, I, I discovered when I um, sent out a, um, a little quiz at the beginning before even creating this um, webinar series. I discovered themes in people. They were telling me a lot about um, having issues with people in their businesses or teams, like for example, team leaders and things like that. Or they were having issues with uh, feeling good enough to have a business or to be, um, you know, to grow successfully. Uh, or they were worrying a lot about money issues. So or they would just had this immense self doubt and fear that you know they're never gonna reach the level that they want. So in this webinar today, it's there's a lot of people that came from that catchment of mindset, money, and business. And then um, on Thursday, I'm doing a webinar, so I'm probably gonna be talking more um, on the level of health and relationships on Thursday. So they're not gonna they're all, they're I'm gonna be doing these live webinar trainings this week and next week um, to open up my beta course, but um, they're, 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 they're all the same, like the life traps, as you can see, go across the board. But today it was just basically you had um, money issues or um, self-doubt and fear. So overwhelm falls into that category, feeling defective, not good enough, having too high standards on yourself, um, often stuck in a negative mindset. So mindset, money, and, um, um, money mindset and uh, sorry business okay so you can see how the life traps kind of um, go hand in hand here now I just want to say before I start talking to you about this beta that I'm so excited to launch I have three choices basically in general you can say you can quit you can say no I'm, I don't want to deal with this I'm just going to stay as I am and figure out my emotional issues on my own or continue to have repeating patterns mm -hmm. unfortunately some of us um, I mean, I have for the longest time just, I said, nope, it's too hard. I don't want, I don't care about therapy. I don't want to talk to anyone. And I just stayed in that for maybe a year or two. So it was all too hard. Okay. I was just doing, I was doing mom. I was doing a business. I was like trying to build my essential oils business. It was just all too hard. So I was like, I was in that category for a while, <laughs> or you could continue on your own, figure out stuff. And you know, like if you feel like you, you, you have that resilience, so you can get better, hoping to get better results. It may take a little bit more time because um, you're, it takes time to navigate through it. I mean, it, you know, it takes time as well. I've been there too. Or you can let me mentor you and guide you into breaking free from these life traps in a unique coaching program that I'm about to launch where I will basically be there for you. I will walk you through these steps and processes in a safe space with other, you know, I'll, I, I say beta students, but I'm going to explain what that means. Bas basically other um, amazing people who are going to help shape the course. Okay. So that's the, those are the three things you can do. So let me, let me explain to you this beta, what that actually means. So I've, I'm opening up enrollment right now for, for it. So I've called it Life Traps Therapy, Overcome Your Big Emotions. You've seen this before. Um, a beta means in business marketing terms or whatever, it's just basically I've never done this course before. So you are going to help shape the course with me and um, you're going to help create the course. I already have a whole outline set up, but you are playing a huge role in this. You're almost like a pioneer um, in, 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 in with me. You're kind of like, you know, a, a colleague. So I just want to kind of walk you through what I already set up. So what you, what you, what you'll see here is a walkthrough of it. Okay. So the purpose, I've written up the purpose. So um, here's the purpose, results you can expect. Um, so these are, you can read that. I'm gonna show you the pages already. Uh, the link is there. Um, the structure, depending on the nature of the life traps, um, it's gonna be the outline below. And then I've given, I'm giving three amazing bonuses. So one of them is basically, when I was in psycho, th psychotherapy, I, um, learning about my own life traps, I created like a secret list of some very special essential oil um, diffuser blends and sprays that helped me through the process of changing my life traps. 
Um, and I basically will give away this little book. It's really neat. It's about clearing anger, clearing um, frustration, clearing confusion. So it's, you can use them as a diffuser or you can use them as a spray. And if you're new to essential oils, that's okay. But this is just like my little um, specialty. So I thought I felt that it would be a good um, a good uh, bonus to give because it, it really addresses emotions and essential oils definitely address emotions. Uh, you would definitely get a VIP Facebook support group. So this will include live weekly coaching calls. Now we haven't looked at the structure yet, the course outline, but I'm just telling you what you actually get in, in on top of it. So you get weekly live coaching calls with me where I'll, you'll be able to come in and ask questions and receive additional support from me. And a third bonus is I'm preparing a special masterclass, not with me, with an expert on, and then we can go whichever way you feel you need. So if you need more um, advice on business, you know, or money or um, relationships, then I have connections with different uh, resources of different experts that can come and speak to you about this, um, about these. And who knows, maybe we'll have all three <laughs> or all, you know, whatever, all, whatever you choose. So I'm going to be, um, you know, um, preparing that and that's going to be announced in week number two. Oh, Hedia, sorry, I'm just reading your message. I'm a confident person in face-to-face -face business, um, but I'm trying to move online with my wealth of knowledge and I have self-doubt, fear, and feel stuck. And that's a huge vulnerability issue. I totally understand. Um, I've had that galore before I launched my website in July last year. I took a year for me to actually build my website. I was so afraid to put myself online in that way and expose myself. And it, it had a lot to do with, you know, um, my vulnerability. It had a lot to do with my defectiveness. It had a lot to do with my feeling like a failure. So, and I'm not, this is not about putting, Life Traps is not about putting you down. Life Traps is about awareness. Okay. So um, when you discover your Life Traps, you're actually doing the best exercise of self-awareness you can ever do for yourself. Okay. When you're self-aware, that's when you can change things. When you admit um, things, that's when you can change. When you don't like when you don't admit certain things like, okay, I have that because of this, then it's very difficult to change that. Okay. So, um, that's okay. Hadia, you're, <laughs> you're back. I'm glad you're back. Um, this is all being recorded and will sent, be sent as a replay as well. So let me walk you through a quick, this is an outline, but like I said, beta students would actually, um, help me shape the content of the course. So at, each step of the way, I'm going to be delivering some content and then I'll be, what else do you want to know more of? You know? So imagine that, imagine a beta and, and you're kind of like, you know, being pioneers to this. And I've never, ever seen a course on life traps, emotional life traps online. I'm kind of trying to bring this into a mainstream fashion because this is usually behind the, you know, the, the doors of a psychotherapist and I'm not a psychotherapist, but I, I can bring it mainstream enough for people to be aware so that you can do, deal with it or, or do, you know, um, help yourself, you know, kind of way. So I like the whole idea of being mainstream about things like essential oils became mainstream. They're almost mainstream now. I mean, um, there's a lot of things that are going mainstream because people are looking for alternatives. So I don't have the time and money to spend on a therapist necessarily. And I'm not going to go deep level with you, but we're going to cover stuff that will at least get you thinking and journaling or whatever we're going to need to do together to uncover all that stuff. And I think it will take the, and take place into, um, you know, it'll take place into four weeks. So welcome and module one is kind of like together. And then um, we'll have the, like, these other modules together. Some, some are going to be really easy. Some are going to be a little bit more um, difficult because there's going to be a lot more thought to it. So understanding your life traps, changing your life traps, um, and then I'm going to have three modules that I, I think are th very important to help change your life traps, which is self-empowerment. Um, and that has to do with, you know, awareness as well. Mindfulness. So practicing the art of being mindful in your pra daily practices and um, forgiveness as well. So there's huge components of forgiveness in this as well. Um, and and I, I've, I've listed all that out, but like I said, there's going to be a lot of, you know, so I, I can't, I want this course to be 
like the best online course on emotional life traps online. There isn't any other, <laughs> but I want it to be the best, you know? So um, next year when I launch this in a, in a, in a full fashion, I will not have it at this price. It'll be right now it's 197 and it's, um, you know, a four week course with me. Maybe we'll extend it to five because I want to give proper time for each module. So live weekly calls, um, an expert coming in, giving a masterclass. I'll be preparing worksheets for you to work through um, the thought exercises. There's going to be a lot of thought and there's going to be some discussion as well. So, um, and me presenting obviously. So it's a five, let's call it, yeah, five weeks, five weeks. So running from November 6th, that's when I want to start it, um, to December. Well, now, cause I had initially said it would be for four weeks, but, um, if it's going to five weeks, it'll be one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, then it takes us to right before the holidays. So, um, for those of you in Australia, school holidays, well, everyone actually school holidays begin probably mid December. So this will take us to, um, mid December. Okay. So 6th of November, right up until mid December, we're together. Um, working through our emotional life traps. Okay. So let me switch back to my slides here. Okay. So here is the link to, um, for the, for the, I, I hope it's not that difficult. Actually, I'm going to pop it right here in the chat. So .com. There it is. It's so cool. It's in the chat right now. You can go and check it out on your computer. Now I have a fast action bonus for people who are fast action takers. And I'm going to start this counter here. I hope you see it. So if anyone buys on the session today and we have 10 more minutes because we're just going to relax now and ask questions. If anyone buys in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to give a private coaching session with me. Um, valued at $200 because I don't really do private coaching, but when I do, it's, it's really valuable. So, um, it could be about anything. Okay. It could be about your business. It could be about your, um, you know, the, like whatever issues you want. Like if Hedia, you have, you know, you're curious about how to overcome some of these things. Maybe it's specific stuff, you know, maybe it's specific how to grow out, grow out of my um, overwhelm. I have a lot of, you know, knowledge about productivity and just a lot of knowledge in general about, you know, getting over the, to the next step, taking action. So um, for those of you who are on this webinar today, it's because you're um, overwhelmed with maybe money issues or business or mindset. You're just the negative mindset. I have a lot of tips and tricks and techniques to help you with that. So I would love to gift this private coaching session with me for a fast action taker. Um, and yeah, you got, you know, eight, <laughs> eight minutes to go. So in the meantime, actually, let me leave that timer up there. Hold on. In the meantime, I would love to answer any questions you have about this at all. So feel free to fire away any questions you have, any concerns, any um, anything, basically what, whatever uh, you want to ask. If you know, you feel that there should be more, um, there should be a, a, it should, there should be a different topic in the, inside the course that I didn't think about, but you know, I'm happy to, to answer any questions or concerns at all, or take any, you know, comments. <laughs> but let me just see if, um, Oh, and that's what um, the stay until the end for this bonus is all about. Let me just put that in the chat as well. So that is, if you've stayed until the end of this webinar, which is now, because <laughs> we're almost at the end. So um, there's a test online you can take, life traps test, to discover your um, life traps. So you can take that questionnaire, it's a very easy one. It's, um, I think it's like 20 or 30 questions and you can, um, answer truthfully, obviously be very honest about with yourself and then it will cover, uncover, um, it will uncover your life traps to, to a certain degree. I mean, it takes a lot of discussion as well to kind of, um, to go through this. Now, like I said, you can go and read about this stuff if you want, but the mentorship you would get inside the group and the um, breakthroughs you would get by um, discovering 
the tools and techniques because I have um, for each life trap there are specific things you can do so what you can do to change the depri uh, the emotional deprivation one what can you do to change the um, the defectiveness one so and in not only that but I've applied it to the knowledge I know about um, the areas that you're concerned with so health and money and relationships so all of those I've applied that to those specific areas okay so if you've told me money is your biggest issue well let's discover what the life trap is related to that for you and then let's discover what are the steps that you take to um, uncover them so it's pretty cool now I would love to know if you want you can discuss with me uh, what your life trap is or if you have any questions at all you can send them to my email or you can pop them in this chat but I basically put the link to the course and the link to the online life traps test for staying till the end of the boat to stay until the end of the webinar um, and my email if you'd like to chat <laughs> so I'm gonna shut up now and I can ask, take any questions are there any questions yes no worries yeah you can email me I know about the course taking it's been I've been course after course, but I've promised myself no more courses until um, next year. I've taken this course, this was my last course, the one that helped me shape this um, whole thing, um, you know, the quiz builder and all that stuff, and then um, no more courses until next year. <laughs> but I understand, Hadia, totally. All right. Yes, what are you taking right now? Would you like to share that? I'm just curious. Oh, it's really dry here. Okay, you aren't taking what? What? I guess there's no time. All right. Well, if there's no other further questions, I'm seeing um, no one's really putting anything in the chat, so that's okay. Um, let me know if there's anything else you need to, to need me to address. I don't know if I've addressed, I'm, I'm, I've addressed everything on my side, I don't know if you needed. So a beta is a really great opportunity to, like I said, I've been a beta to one, two courses before, and you get access to me more than what you would in the future. So um, this is like the one-on-one -on -one time you get tons of access to me to my time i'm investing my time effort money and resources into this to develop this into a knockout course for next year so you're at the the trenches with me and i i, I want it to be different i don't want it to be like every other course out there i want it to be um a really really uh, beneficial one for people i mean consider like the things you need to do to get over your emotional hang-ups or you know the relationships and all that stuff. The Coaching Institute in Melbourne. Oh, cool. Oh, so you're studying to be a coach. <laughs> That's awesome. That's good. One year so far. Good luck. Is the beta in US? Yes, it is. Sorry. Let me just um, see. I'll go to the page again. Um, yeah, this is US dollars. So. And oh, I forgot to mention, there is a two pay option. So I've actually made it quite easy and a no brainer. If the, um, you, you can do a two pay option. So if you scroll right down to the bottom, there's a two pay. One is um, uh, you can do the whole full, which is obviously um, okay, but um, the two pay as well kind of like breaks down the cost into two. So it's all good. This is the beta price, guys. Um, next year, it'll be triple maybe quadruple that i'm thinking i'm still I, I don't know what the um the price range will be when once it's like properly launched but um this will be the beta it will never be seen again before at this rate this is not yeah okay give the price again because my computer switched off yep so this is the price of the course in usd or the two pay option which is um two times 98.50 USD. So yeah, so if you click on that button buy, it'll take you, I think, to, um, let me just double check it, make, make sure it works. <laughs> let me see. 
Oh, it logged me out. Okay, so let's say I already have an account. I think it'll just take you to a payment payment uh, portal, like pay, uh, pay by credit card. So this is um, this is this course is built on Thinkific, so it's really um, pretty neat. Um, and then the to pay will also give you the option to. Uh, let me try the sign up with LinkedIn thing. Just to show you what it looks like from the back end, you might be curious. All right, so there it is. So successfully logged in, and then you just put your card number, um, oops, powered by Stripe, and um, that would be the two pay option. So it'll be one pay, 98.50, and the next pay, 98.50, the next, the next month. So yeah, 197. So um, that's uh, really, really good for what you're getting. Let me put the course outline. Um, and interspersed in each of these are weekly live coaching calls inside the Facebook group. Where's the, my timer? We're one minute left. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm not, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so um, welcome and orientation is one week. Um, and then understanding your life traps is the next week. We're going to uncover what are life traps, which life traps do you have? We're going to discover life traps in everyday situations. Module two is all, it's going to be the biggest one probably. Um, it's going to be about changing your life traps. So it is the biggest one. There's going to be uh, the coping strategies that we, we usually deal with. There are three. So usually we surrender, we counterattack, or we escape. Okay, um, but I'll go into depth into each of these. General life, life traps change, like each of them, how to um, apply uh, the changes for them. And then what are the obstacles to change? Because there will be obstacles and how do you deal with them? Self-empowerment, a huge, um, a really important um, module to empower yourself to validate your own needs about this. Um, mindfulness, um, a really beautiful practice in developing some, uh, developing, you know, the, the, the art of resilience and self-awareness. I mentioned self-awareness. It's really important to be self-aware before you even think about changing your life, your emotional life traps, because you might be resistant to it. So we'll help you with that. Um, basic mindfulness exercises. I'll have some audio lectures in there. So all of these are going to be different multimedia types of, um, of, of things that you can consume. So uh, it could be text that you read. It could be, it'll definitely be video. Um, it'll be audio. So there'll be a, like a beautiful mix of different ways to consume the knowledge and the information. And then the art of forgiveness and of course the Facebook group where you can discuss. All right, guys. Well, I have come to almost the hour. I don't think there are any more questions. Hadia, you're going to email me. I'll wait for that. No worries. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to create this course and launch it um, to the world next year. So if there are no questions, I'm so happy. I will love you and leave you. Thank you for attending. Um, uh, just let me know if you if you'd like I, I'll be sending a replay probably um, tonight or this afternoon if I'm okay all right perfect all right everyone so have a great day have a great rest of night day wherever you are and I'll be seeing you soon take care bye